I quit video games before I went to university. I had this big gaming computer and it was, you know, this giant tower that I built myself when I was 14, custom built. And I didn't bring it to university with me. Instead, I just brought a little laptop with me to uni. And it was a period in my life where I had a, you know, I was making a choice. I didn't know this at the time, but I was making a choice. I was choosing between the pleasure of playing video games. I played Dota 2, you know that game. It's basically League of Legends. It's highly addictive. I was super addicted to it. Like, I had over a thousand, I think a thousand five hundred hours plus on Steam. It was, I had a brutal addiction. Anyway, I was choosing between seshing this game and having the pleasure of winning these games and all of the pleasures that I had from playing Dota 2 and having a social life at university, meeting girls and really just getting stuck in. For me, I saw greater happiness in the latter. I really saw greater happiness with going to university, talking to new people, talking to girls and really trying to, you know, create a social life for myself. That I didn't really, I wanted to reinvent myself as everyone does when they go to uni, especially as a nerdy guy. I wanted to go in there and actually be kind of normal <laughs> and sociable and everything and break out of my introversion, break out my social anxiety, which I had at the time. Um, the point is, I tried to, I was going to make these two choices continue playing Dota 2 or, you know, the social life. I chose the social life. And because I'd made this choice, because I saw greater happiness in the social life choice, I made that choice. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because with porn addiction, I'm, I'm currently reading the freedom model, right? The freedom model. This is my Kindle. I'm reading the freedom model on it. This is perhaps going to be better than easy peasy. I'm not jumping the gun too quick, but just keep your mind open that this might be coming on my channel or it might not be. I would suggest you read the freedom model for yourself. Just, you know, if you have the time, just read it. Um, I'm making that recommendation to you. I haven't tested it. I don't know if it works, but the ideas in it seem very, very legit because I've seen it happen in my past. But I haven't tested it yet with porn addiction with anyone or, or anything like that. So that's my warning. Um, when it comes to video games, right? I saw greater happiness in the social life, less in the video games. So I made that choice and it was easy. I didn't think about Dota 2. I had no urge to to play Dota 2. Like it was just gone. Like I'd moved on with my life. You get it? And that's what it talks about in this book. Like most addicts just move on in their life. They just outgrow their addiction. Now, with Dota 2, I didn't go through like, oh, no gaming. Like there's a subreddit it's called like stop gaming and like how to stop gaming, how to not relapse. I didn't go through all this recovery stuff. I didn't go through the NoFap equivalent to gaming for gaming. I didn't think about relapsing. I didn't think about use i didn't think about binging i didn't use all of these terms i didn't count my days that i was abstinent i literally just moved on with my life because i saw greater happiness in not using than using that's how i quit video games easily and i've been thinking how did i quit video games a i didn't bring my i thought i didn't bring my computer and that's because i didn't bring my computer i can't play dota 2 but that's bullshit i could i had a laptop which was actually deep it was quite powerful i bought it with good specs and it, all it would have taken me to get Dota 2 again was go down to the shop, which I lived near, like a tech store. I lived in the city centre, so tech store was right nearby. Buy a gaming mouse, come back and start playing. But I didn't do that. Why? Because I saw greater happiness in literally not playing it and having a social life. You see? That's why I'm making this video partially as an update and to recommend you to read the Freedom Model, but also partially to get that idea that, like, I have quit using what the freedom model suggests. The freedom model says the only way to quit, or the way most people quit, right? I'd say the only, I think it says the only way to quit. Most people white knuckle, this is the thing. A lot of people white knuckle it, meaning they will quit, but they'll be in recovery for like decades. You'll see alcoholics from like, oh yeah, I haven't had a drink in 15 years, I'm still in recovery. And they think that, oh, like one drink is suddenly going to tip them over the edge. But the truth is, is that like, even if I played video games now, I just wouldn't be into it. I'm like, I'm gone. I'm past that phase in my life. Like, I'm done. Like, I don't... I, it wouldn't be the same. It, it's not the same enjoyment. <laughs> it's not like if I played one game of Dota 2, I'd instantly go back to, like, addict. I just don't... I, I even tried it. Like, a year and a half later, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to play this game. I played it for a bit. I just didn't enjoy it. And then I deleted it. This was the game I was addicted to for years. This one game. So, yeah, the point of this vid is... This is what I've been working on, this is why I'm not uploading much videos, because I'm basically working through the freedom model and I'm trying to see if it's better than easy peasy, or if at least I've got some ideas that are better than easy peasy. Because I know a lot of you guys are struggling with easy peasy, and I'm trying to find what is essentially the missing link. 
whether this is it or whether it, whether the freedom model is it is the missing link or isn't i don't know i haven't tried it yet but what i'm saying i'm giving you guys a heads up and if you want to go and read through it yourself i'd, I'd recommend it. it's a banger of a read anyway um i'd recommend reading it it's a 600 page tome but still read it and don't read the abridged version that you see on the easy peasy discord like that's a very small kind of bastardization of it you want to read the full book even though it's a long thing like think about it this could be it this could this could be it i'm not saying it is i'm not saying it isn't I'm saying it could be i'm optimistic about it but i don't want to jump the gun too quick so don't expect anything magic but at the same time it could happen i'm going to basically blast through this and do some testing and see what happens see what see what works see what doesn't and basically report back i'm documenting this whole thing which is why i'm making this vid and why i'm uploading it um but yeah that's how i quit video games like I literally just moved on with my life. I saw greater happiness in actually having a social life and being in uni and being like a student and all of that stuff. And, it, you know, it was great. And I, you know, I did break out my comfort zone massively, as a lot of people do when they go to uni. And if I stayed in my fucking room and played video games, I would have definitely regretted it. Like, it would have been hell on earth like it was when I was addicted uh, at home. Addicted, you know. Anyway, the Freedom Model doesn't talk about addiction like that, but anyway. It's called The Freedom Model. Buy it, read it, Kindle, Libgen if you want to.